Hi, I'm John, and today my favorite holiday song, because in case I haven't descended far enough into madness, I'd just like to go further, is Trans-Siberian Orchestra Sarajevo 1224. Hey, I'm Chris. Okay, let me think here. Um, either the version of Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas, where on the chorus it has We Shop Music underneath it. <laughs> or All I Want I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. Or 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 the August Burns Red Carol. Oh, that's Bess. a that's a good one. That's, that's the one. That's one. the one. Uh and I'm Gabe, and I I don't know what my favorite holiday song is. Uh, I uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the Hanukkah songs are are a little it's like that Adam Sandler. Yeah. Adam Sandler one's pretty good. We it's need fine. August. We need August know. Burns Red does dreidel dreidel dreidel. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we need... hold on. Let's let's start over. Wait, uh, wait. Why, why I forgot to, to mention. Over? Well, we don't need to start over. Uh, you we just need to edit Gabe's oh out because there's no cussing on this one <laughs> okay cult classics is a family-friendly podcast i should have warned you can i bleep it you know you could bleep it yeah Let's that's just our bleep one it. that's our one we bleeped it that's our one <laughs> this is us this is us apologizing We're but so i also sorry. forgot that chris is chris is the one who's doing the edit here so he can actually handle this i'm so sorry that we made a big oopsie and i had to bleep it it won't happen again i have fixed it <laughs> you have fixed it and and we're going to make a John Hallmark movie. Welcome to the seven days of John's Miss. On this, the seventh day of John's Miss being recorded New Year's morning. The champagne has been popped. The ball has been dropped. <laughs> it is the end of this odyssey for me. I don't know how to return to normalcy after this, frankly. I have lived a holiday existence very thoroughly over the past week. It's like... um. Just like that movie where the guy turns into Santa, Santa Claus. Is it is. It, it is not unlike the Santa Claus. I mean, I haven't seen the Santa Claus. The sequel of which Chris was not allowed to watch by his I mom wasn't. because of the adult content. I'm very angry about it. Still, <laughs> have you have you gone back and uh, watched, watched it? it? Yeah, of course I watched it, and then I was even more disappointed because it was like not even <laughs> not really good. that big of a deal. And now they're making some other one with some. The other Santa people. Claus is. Is that what it's called? Some it's show? a sequel series. It's a sequel series. I think Peyton Manning's in it. Or <laughs> Eli Manning. A I'm football actually, player? I'm more interested now. One of the Mannings is in it. Yeah. Before, I wasn't very interested to see Mr. <laughs> in something, but like now I <laughs> maybe I'm pulled back in. I mean, you could just join me in the all holiday, all the time universe right here. Yeah, I'm I've watched confused by what you've said. Two separate Muppet Christmas media things in the last few in like the last four days and it's been wonderful yeah okay john what day is it it's january 1st like when we release this episode no no as we're recording this right now it's january 1st 2023 it's the new year i hope you guys have your resolutions ready that's a really interesting way to say wednesday december 14th no 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 (laughs) yes yes John's uh John's got like the uh, the venom uh thing. Oh skin's, no. His skin's going to turn uh red and white like a candy cane instead of black. It's, See, I want to warn you like what I'm saying is I opened my calendar app, but when I by saying that I mean that I typed CAL and hit enter, which actually opened my calculator. But even that says it's December 14th. So well, your calculator's lying to you, Chris. It's been it's the Christmas season. It's the seventh day of John's Miss right no, now. No, I opened it and it says one two one four twenty twenty two, which is. Is that on your calculator? That's what my calculator said when I opened it. Yeah. <laughs> that, I don't, I don't know how to feel about that. About the fact that it's December fourteenth, or that my because calculator yesterday, knows what day it is. Yesterday it was December thirty first. Well, see, that's also interesting that you say that because yesterday was the thirteenth of December. The day after my sister's birthday? Yes. I'm assuming her birthday was the 12th, yes. But Yeah, I don't don't know your sister's birthday. But it was Christmas six days ago. No, it'll be Christmas in 12 12 days. 12 days. days. 11 days. John's been uh, sucked the holiday vortex. I I feel very distressed right now. Babe! 
Babe! What day is it? What's today's date? What's today's date? December 13th. Or 14th. Sorry. <laughs> Doing the impression and just saying the wrong date. <laughs> Oh that's, god. That's, this oh, is boy. this is unacceptable. That wasn't an impression. That was actually Bethany. <laughs> that was actually oh. Bethany. Hi, I'm Bethany. <laughs> Bethany is here and she she said it's the 14th. I don't Yeah, it's the 14th. I, I love you, husband. <laughs> <laughs> I I uh <laughs> I'm definitely a little a uh, little well I have two. Gabe, Gabe, what's what's love? Let's we need a third party to weigh in. Gabe, what's today's date? Uh, open your calculator. Open my calculator. I, mine told me it was the fourteenth. Oh, it's zero. Sorry. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh uh, no. Ah, uh, beans. So so time has come unstuck. Yeah. Um. That's are... that's what I'm going with. Yeah. Uh, have I been living in the holidays for the last week and not even realizing it? It sounds like it. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. I'm looking at... I need to look at something. I need to look at something. Okay. Open Coltsmith's project files. Wait a second. I could have sworn that I record recorded day six yesterday, December 31st. You know, I've been playing Inscription lately, and this really feels like part of the game. This says that I recorded it on December 7th? I haven't been recording these every day? I don't know what's going on with you, man. Guys. Yeah, this is a mystery. What's what's wrong with me? That's a what's, great question. What's wrong with me? So oh, no. Wh- what have you been doing these seven days? <laughs> oh, no. Wait, so you're saying that Argentina and Morocco didn't play in the World Cup final? No, they did not. You were I close, though. You are close. I have invented memories. It's actually a. It's gonna be Argentina, France. I had to break it to you. No! Well, you got no. half of it right. Oh no! Me- From my understanding, what this means is that Messi can still win and be the goat for real. Oh no! Is that how that works? I don't know enough about soccer to know if that's a true statement. That's just uh-huh. what I hear the internet say. Yeah. Oh no. I get the sense that a that Messi is kind of a he's kind of a KD character in a way where like he really needs to win something big on his own to like. So I think we're gonna make a Hallmark it. movie now to distract from the pain that I'm experiencing. Oh, well, okay. I thought I was gonna keep trying to do very not perfect comparisons of NBA soccer players. Okay, yeah, NBA players to soccer players. To... Okay, okay, okay. Let, I'll, I'll bite. Who's Mbappe? I don't know. He's young at, kid, young kid. He's got a, he got a championship under his belt. Already? Well, yeah. They, he won last World Cup, um, so I guess four okay. years. Young kid. I mean, that could and and is he like the future of soccer? Not not really that young, but yeah, arguably the future of soccer. That's probably Giannis then. Yeah, yeah. He's, you know he's what? I'll take the it. Giannis. Unless there's some other soccer player that's like the physical freak specimen. And then that would be the young that has won something, and that would be Giannis. Who is Ronaldo? Ronaldo, that's the LeBron. That one's not even that's hard. The, that's the <laughs> clown, that's the clown, uh, the McDonald's. Ronaldo is the LeBron, and then uh, what is it? Uh, oh man, what's that older guy that's like not playing anymore? That's like also considered maybe a goat. Not Ronaldino. Isn't there some guy named Pepe or whatever? Pe- that Pele. Hurt me. Pele. 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 <laughs> Pele. <laughs> And yeah, it's it's Pe- Pe- there's it's Pele Pepe. and there's Pele and someone else, right? That's probably one of those is the probably the MJ. Okay, let's make a Hallmark movie. Okay, so, all right, let's get it. We're gonna put the word fact or facts somewhere in this title. Do we want to start off with just facts? As, well, you know, we've done. Uh, I, I'm gonna start off with facts. Okay. Okay. We're. I want to. What I like to do is generate three titles and pick my favorite. Okay. Or like work together. So let's facts. And then we have the, a, and four. Do we want to do that or do we want to shuffle and see what comes next? Wait, so are we picking words in a sequence? In a sequence, yes. Um, okay. Uh, I think is it four. Is it always going to be an article? No, it's not always going to be an article. 
Matt, yeah, the how, how many words? How many? How long do we want the title to be? Like we could do the, but then it's gonna be a longer title. It's gonna it could be long. It could be long. Facts for the and the no facts. Uh, facts, facts for the heart is really good. Facts for the heart, but facts for the holidays. Oh, facts for the holidays was kind of nice. Let's 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 keep facts for the heart and facts for the holidays. Let's keep those options open. So I'll just paste these into the doc over. Ah, no. I'll paste these into the doc over here. Because facts for the holidays is kind of fun, too. Facts for the heart. I mean, these are really, I mean, really, really sounding like a Hallmark movie just right off the bat. Exactly. Now let's do some shuffling. Facts, baby. <laughs> I, I kind of like just facts, baby. <laughs> facts, <laughs> baby. Exactly. Like that. What else do we have? I don't know if we've really hit the magic yet. No, let's 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 generate a title from the yeah. start. Okay, we're gonna go fresh. Yeah. Um, Wait, so but we we, get... don't we need the word facts? We or can no? put it in later. We can okay. put the put facts okay. in later. Okay. Portrait. Ooh, portrait's kind of fun. Portrait on me. <laughs> portrait <laughs> on me. It's a, it's a mix of photograph and take on me. Portrait it's on like me. Map. Help. <laughs> okay, sorry. That's not any help. Help for the holidays. Portrait on me. Help for the holidays. Portrait on me. Help for the holidays. You know, facts isn't col- anywhere in it, but you know, I kind of like colon. it. There's a colon. It's portrait on me. Quote. Colon. Yeah. Facts for the holidays. Holiday. Er. Help for the holidays. Help for the holidays. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I I still don't quite think we've hit it yet. Okay, let's try another facts one. Facts. All okay, right. Okay. Shuffle. Facts. Will. Will? Okay. Will's fun. I don't like any of these. Facts will. Uh, none of these make sense. Oh, wait. After, oh. Hold on. Okay, Facts now, will. Now now shuffle it a few times. Facts will. And eh, none of these are good. Yeah, this is rough. Fact, uh, facts will come to town. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? Facts will come to town. I really do like facts will come to town. <laughs> it's pretty fun. I'm I'm a big fan of facts will come to town. All right, let's let's go for one more just in case. But I do like that one. That one's got like enough openness. We're going to try it. something here. The fact Oh, okay. The fact. Now, shuffle for the fact for Christmas. I guarantee that's what would happen. The fact, nah, shuffle it again. Nope. The, the fact, fact and sold. the fact and <laughs> mistletoe and, the, and me. The fact and me. Okay, that's kind of weird. The fact and mistletoe isn't bad. <laughs> mistletoe over Manhattan. The fact. The fact and mistletoe okay, actually, over Manhattan. Okay, mistletoe over Manhattan would be a really good. Christmas that actually is legit. That I actually legit. really. I we could even just call it facts. Okay, but I'm colon, actually mistletoe over Manhattan. I don't know. I'm I'm actually really liking the one we had right before this, which is facts, facts will, will come, come to, to town. town. Now, help me out with one thing. I mean, we're yes. taken from like the the cult classic style of thing, but we don't have to fit horses in this one. It would be nice if there were to be a horse somewhere in there. Okay, but, but like, it's not like horse centric. It, it's not horse centric. It no. could be horse adjacent. It doesn't even need to be horse adjacent. There just okay. needs to be a horse appearing in this movie. And also, I need to play a role in this movie somewhere because it's John Smith. Okay, okay. okay. So, so, are we going with facts will come to town? I think we're going with facts will come to town. I I do have an idea. Okay, but it needs to be a holiday movie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A holiday. Holiday adjacent, at least. I think but Christmas is still fun. But go ahead. I mean, it's the classic. I So so my thought is that, that the, the premise of facts... I'm trying to think of the... Like, we need, like, a very, like, fact-oriented person, um, like a celebrity, and they're coming to John's Christmas. Yeah, it's Ken Jennings. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's so good. I was I was gonna say like Neil deGrasse Tyson, 
But I think I like Ken Jennings. I think Ken Jennings is better, yeah. Yeah, I think Ken Jennings is a lot better, actually. Does he, does he host Jeopardy now? Some, yeah. Occasionally. Occasionally. So there's not okay, like but, a- okay, but wait. Should it be Ken Jennings, or should it be a Ken Jennings type? Because because it's because we can't afford Ken Jennings. Well, I don't think you can get Ken Jennings in a... I don't know. Do Mormons do Christmas? Mormon? I don't know. They, they got it, right? I Google this. This Google. Uh, do I, Mormons I, celebrate Christmas? There it is. Is uh, a Mormon Christmas? Is a Mormon Christmas? Yes, Mormons celebrate yeah. Christmas. I, I kind of figured. I, I don't know why they wouldn't. They just don't have service on it. Okay, interesting. Anyway, the reason I say it should probably be a Ken Jennings type, like in this new universe we have, this new cinematic universe, we can mm-hmm. come up with our own Ken Jennings because Ken Jennings, the real person, is involved with people. Now, if it's that Ken Jennings as an actor is in this movie, that's different. You're suggesting that it's a it's Ken Jennings playing a character that I, behaves like himself. I think that's correct, yes. Perhaps Ben Jammings. I was going to say, uh, what about Jen Kennings? Oh, that's a woman. Jen, uh, oh, no. no. Um, yeah, we could call him whatever. Ben Mennings. Ben Mennings, yes. Ben Mennings. Ben Mennings. Okay. Okay, so he is coming to a Christmas party hosted by me? I think so. Oh, no, he's coming to town. Coming to, mm-hmm. Well... He's coming to town for the Christmas party. That's what's... Maybe he's hosting a Christmas trivia competition mm. on the town square. Now, let's uh, let's okay. also establish another very important thing. Yes. This is a holiday movie. We've said it's probably Christmas. Is it a romance movie like all the Hallmarks are? It's a Hallmark movie. And considering that I have strayed from that path a couple of times already in this John's Miss, once in my ultra ultraviolet quasimodo movie and once in mr starship i'm just then, saying this is our chance to say okay we've got a ken jennings type he's all about facts right yes and he comes to town okay he's grown beyond this kind of stuff it, it, we're doing the exact opposite of the lady runs into the lumberjack wearing flannel we're gonna do the opposite of that what are we going to do? How well, are we going to do it? He, he, okay, he's a fact man, which obviously Santa's not real. That's not a fact. Santa's right. Santa's not a fact. Unless. Unless. Santa is a fact. <laughs> oh, my gosh. A now, lot of Santa representation this year. I'm kind of going, digging it, honestly. So, so like, now, what it, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This is where maybe it's the about the process of discovering that santa is factual like it's a uh, ken jenning or, or ben mennings uh um like he meets a, he meets a lumberjack who introduces him to santa or the uh, lumberjack is himself santa right but it's like uh it definitely um it's like lumberjack a lumberjack it's like a bruce is, wayne kind of thing like right where it's like they're never in the same room oh you know what he's a lumberjack growing and then cutting down the christmas so the, the alter ego of Santa is Christmas, which has to be a real job. It Don't sure is. It. Yeah. Um, oh. So uh, I do just want to say, it sounds like the movie we're making here is Santa's Not Dead. Is that a movie that exists or no, I'm saying God's not dead. It's God's not dead for <laughs> Santa. <laughs> actually, I'm really into that concept. <laughs> like, actually super into that concept. Which is also arguably Miracle on 34th Street. <laughs> also that. There has <laughs> to be without, a scene Without where, the courtroom drama. <laughs> there has to be a scene where Ben Minnings is explaining to the lumberjack that, that Santa is like a oh, physical impossible. What if he also what if what if Santa has a daughter and Ben Minnings is gonna fall in love with her too? So so and the only reason I say that is because then that means Ben Minnings eventually has to become Santa. Ooh. Okay. Assuming he, we're in the same kind of vibe where eventually Santa dies and someone has to be Santa and he's not immortal. You see, that's good because the two Santas that we've had so far in Colt in uh, John Smith this year have been immortal. I don't think it's as fun. I think it should be a curse. <laughs> Santa, Santa should be a curse. Okay. 
yeah, so far the two Santas we've had have been Patrick Stewart and Steve Martin, and both of those men are immortal. Yeah, I, as we all I, know. not necessarily a curse. I think it's it's passed on through either blood or similar to the monarchy, marriage. <laughs> so, so so we're going <laughs> we're going from Santa's not Ted to the Dread Pirate Santa. <laughs> kind so, of. So so I really like the blood suggestion because I think this in, <laughs> this introduces an element. Where I don't know how this uh, this fits into the, the the landscape that we've painted so far. But imagine it's passed by blood, right? Mm-hmm. And somebody gets a blood transfusion <laughs> and becomes Santa. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, it's more like a divine right kind of thing. So, like, but I okay. actually kind I mean, of no. I'm actually deeply into Gabe's blood transfusion thing. I yeah. know, but like, let's listen, let's modify. Out, in fact, what if we modified? Uh, we got really offensive here. And we okay. modified Ben Mendings' background from Mormon to Jehovah's Witness, but nobody in this hospital knows that he's a Jehovah's Witness. They not and he gets into an accident. I think Ben gets... Mendings should just be vaguely all about facts. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think his specific. Uh, I but I I, I do like just the want idea to make a Jehovah's Witness blood transfusion joke. But do they it's... not take blood transfusion? That's pretty offensive. <laughs> it is pretty offensive. <laughs> all right, um, but wait. Now hear me out. Because I, I I like entered in this idea of lore where uh, Sant- this Santa in this universe has no male heirs. So <laughs> the, whole, the whole Santa idea is in trouble. And so when Ben Mennings gets married, he becomes Santa. And then his kids will be Santa because it passed through the daughter's bloodline. Or it's assumed that or perhaps Santa's a bit of a old thinking and Ben Mennings helps convince. One he, once he realizes that Santa's existence is real, helps convince him that his daughter can in fact be Santa. Oh, that's and pretty good. And it becomes good. like a gender equality like well, aggressive well, he, thing. He has to have a line that says, "By the transitive property, she could be Santa." Yeah, he, ha- he has to say that. That's like the big line. Yeah, that's the big line. They, you know, everything gets really quiet when. Oh yeah, it gets very quiet, and then the and then the uh, the the Santa guy has to be like, actually, it could work, you know. <laughs> Scratches his giant. I just am really suddenly into this idea of Santa is a divine right by blood, and it's passed along. <laughs> there has to be an heir to Santa. This is our exactly. answer, to, answer to the Santa Clauses, then. Because the concept of the Santa Clauses is literally he's interviewing people to replace him as Santa, which well, is why I'm, Manning I'm, is there. <laughs> I'm also thinking of it as kind of like a soft power house of dragons, but it's Santa. <laughs> Nobody's going to get offed. Nobody's going to die. There's no dragons. But it's kind of like that and that they're trying to figure out who's really going to be the heir. There is like a like a like an elf family that is trying to vying for the take its place as Santa. There's like who's going to be the heir to the Velvet Throne is a very valid question. Is the Velvet Throne Santa's throne or is that I haven't seen it? <laughs> no, that's this, that's Santa's throne. The Velvet Throne in is this Santa's universe, throne. Yeah, okay. 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 So so okay, let's recollect this a little bit. Let's make sure okay. we're all on the same page. So we got yeah, ben we got it. We have a lot of pieces. We need to put them. Okay, why does Ben Mennings come to town? Uh, I think he's on point. vacation. Okay, so he's not like in his hometown. No, he's not. Okay, so what town is he vacationing in? Somewhere vaguely New England, mm. I think. Okay, that's good. There, yeah. can be a, there can be a clam chowder in there. Exactly. Ooh, yeah. Well, maybe in Maine. Yeah, I think Maine, because then we get Maine. mountains and clams. We could have Stephen King do a cameo in a bit part. Exactly. Yeah. Um, a small town along the coast of Maine next to the mountains. Mm, good. Well, there needs to be some forest. Let's say more of like the country of Maine. Okay. Than the coast. I think that's a little bit better. Okay. Okay, and so. he is there on vacation to get away from it all. And he goes to get a Christmas tree and gets in an argument about the existence of Santa with a lumberjack slash Christmas tree farmer who he does not know is in fact Santa. Yeah, not yet. Okay. He doesn't know. That's good. That's good. He meets his daughter as he at as he's think, checking out. <laughs> I think he no, I think he has to meet the daughter later. Yes. And in in the conversation has to talk about how stupid the lumberjack was. And I think the daughter actually finds it kind of charming. Yeah, I think that's part of it. He's got to do like the whole like foot and mouth thing. Like the lumberjack is dumb, he thinks he's Santa or he 
he thinks Santa's real. Then she says, "Oh, you mean my dad?" And then he's like, "Oh no, I've lost. Oh, okay. I mean, I've lost uh, the girl." Um, excuse me. And she's like, "No, it's okay. He's just as hard headed as you are, or something uh, like that." Yeah, 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 that's good. But and she it has becomes to keep, like a like a you're the... kind of, like you two are more alike than you think. Yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's good. Mm-hmm. That's good. Because and then, eventually he has to become, you know. Uh, oh wait, what's the word for it? Uh, oh man, I forgot what the word is. You keep talking the, for a second. Defi- would, definition of the word, maybe you find it. No, no, no. It'll be funny if I just say. Okay, it. okay, okay. You keep talking what you were saying, so, John. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking he bonds with the daughter, but as he's bonding with the daughter, he can't help but bonding with the father. And then, at the halfway point of the movie, he discovers empirical evidence that oh, this man is in fact Santa. Yeah, and I think and Santa the, and he's like, and I need, and Santa like reveals to him, and I need you to be my heir. Yeah, he has to be the Santa consort, right? Yeah, he's gonna become the Santa. Yeah, consort. the Santa consort. <laughs> but then, but then I think that leads to an argument, maybe between the father and the daughter. Like, no, I can do this, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, she doesn't need a man to take the heavy burden of all the presents, right? And then that does lead to the, you know, by the transitive property. She mm-hmm. could be Santa. Exactly. That was a that was a good one. That line is good. I'm yes. Yeah. I'm so satisfied with that. Uh anyway, Christmas Eve comes and Santa Lumberjack sprains his back. Wink. Yeah. Mm. And then And and Ben Mennings is and Ben Mennings isn't trained and ready to take over his heir, so the daughter has to go with him. Oh, and that's then good. Ben, then Ben Mennings doesn't actually do anything. The daughter does it all, and she he just helps her out. Okay, so you think that the and movie does... when she does... comes back, she gets crowned Santa. Okay, because the, I, I the thing that I had in my mind for a moment, and, and maybe, maybe your idea is better because these two are kind of incompatible, that the ending of the movie is a shot of her and Ben Mennings on the sleigh flying off. Oh, it still is that. They're just yeah, flying off on their honeymoon. They're yeah. flying off on their honeymoon a year in the future. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's but, it's that. She gets crowned Santa. We flash forward a year to next Christmas and they're flying off on their honeymoon. I do yeah, think there the also side. needs to be a part where Ben Minnings uh, figures out a better logistics way of doing some of Santa's stuff. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's an industrial engineer and he... Uh, he finds economies of scale. <laughs> or yeah, like, they got to do a thing where like like uh like the Santa thing getting hurt. I, unless you're saying it's completely fake. If it was real, it's got to be like, oh no, we have less time than we thought, and he like figures out how to make it work. But she's still the Santa. Yes. But, but he's helping out. Okay, so he yeah he like somehow I don't know if we need to get do we need to figure out something specific. He somehow improves the logistics. He's of, he's a real prince. He's just up. a real Prince Philip type. Okay. He's like vaguely, he's vaguely oh doing God. he's vaguely doing some bookkeeping. This he, is this is the way that we can improve the books. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This, is, this would be wonderful for your workshop, I'm my not darling. Saying, yeah, I'm not saying he's like really a Prince Philip. I just meant like he's vaguely Perhaps he can of, go the carriage driving. <laughs> he's vaguely good with the books, okay? That's all I'm saying. He can I wasn't a bad out. Prince Philip, if I do say so myself. I think I too bad. I think I might have a Prince Philip. I think so, folks. Is that the seventh day of Coltsmas? Well, wait. Let's ask this: How does Ben Minnings dress? Because I'm guessing again, if we're flipping it, then like I'm guessing that the Santa here and his daughter dress vaguely. I work with trees. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're talking that's, lumberjack. Well, that's chic. yeah. Because you guys said lumberjack, and I went to that. I, I'm still picturing the flannel. Yeah. So how is Ben Minnings dressing? Um, so, so it depends how cartoonish you want. I think you could go simple, like button down shirt, like whatever, like regular pants, not jeans, but like tailored. Yeah. I think it's all tailored. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you want to go cartoonish, he would wear a boat. Ooh. Or maybe not think... even a bow tie, but like a thick, like business tie with like rolled up sleeves. Yeah. I, I think I like that more than the bow tie. I can't picture a person with a bow tie being a lead in any movie. That's, that's yeah, not. That's, that's not. Let me finish. That's not like a period piece. Mm. No, I I agree. I think I do think that the the bow tie is intrinsically a goofy garment. 
mm, garment that yeah. applies here. I had to wear um, one once for a wedding, and it was very strange. Just because I had never planned to wear one, and then that happened. Yeah, like, weddings are, like, one thing. But people who, like, I always think back to, like, the frat guys who had read in the football games. With, like, this just looks... It, d- it does just look terrible. Yeah. With the shorts, especially. Um, I think... But, yeah, that's... That's facts will come to town then, isn't it? Like, I really... This transitive property line is good. Like, I'm going to think about this. That's, that's incredible. Yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, so I think... Wow. You know, I haven't made a podcast with you guys in, like... At least seven months. I don't know. It's something like that. Do we check the record? I mean, I think the last one we made was in, like, March or April. Let me consult the record. Then I got COVID. <laughs> you got COVID. I had some stuff going on too. So I was kind of like, I didn't really make any like effort to kind of just fell apart. I also like just couldn't function for like a month and a half after getting Yeah, You COVID. had like really bad COVID. I remember it wasn't um, completely terrible, but like my brain was foggy for like three months after. So like everything like kind of went on hold. This was, this was really nice. I don't feel holiday mad anymore feel holiday mad ask ask me what day it is okay what day, what day is, is it? it it is wednesday december 14th oh wow. he did it he's cured everybody he's been he's france cured. france beat morocco today in the semifinals it was sad but i'm gonna be okay about it because you know what it's not christmas yet not quite it will have been christmas when you listen to this it'll be the new year when you listen to this it'll be a time for new beginnings New things, but also a return to old ones, to old ways, to sanity. Oh, I'm not stuck in that time loop anymore, guys. I'm not stuck experiencing the seven days of Christmas. I'm happy uh, for you. We've uh, we've beaten Groundhog Day. We have we've defeated it. I've never seen Groundhog. Hey, which um, which European nation colonized Morocco? Yeah. That one. Is it is it France? I was gonna say if it was France, I'm really I, it just would have been really fun if they had It is both really... France and Spain. Yeah, that's what I could remember. Which is why it was very satisfying when Morocco beat Portugal and Spain. Mm, yeah. And oh, then... I thought you were I thought you were just gonna say Portugal and it's like, well that's yeah, it's kinda like Spain. It's like attached to Spain. It's, you know. Portugal's like Spain's weird little cousin. Yeah. Not really. I don't mean to offend anyone. That's just Portugal. It a is, fun lo- but it is though. Portugal's it, a fun little country. Well, since it's the new, since it will be the new year when this episode comes out, and we're talking about new beginnings, is it time, friends, for that moment of catharsis that we've been building towards? Bringing it back, going to sleep. Oh no, not that. Oh okay. I think it's time. It is time to bring it back. In all its, in all its glory, yeah. Um, in January, there will be a new episode of Them's the Facts. We true. will do it. Yeah, we're we're coming back, and there and, will be uh, more episodes following that. Hopefully. Yeah, we're coming back for one night only. <laughs> we're coming back for at least one episode. Hope there there will hopefully be more. We're gonna try a monthly schedule, and maybe we'll get back up to biweekly eventually. I am very excited for it to come back. I I know that. I have heard from multiple friends of ours that they have just been re-listening to old episodes, like unprompted. <laughs> That's sweet. I ran it. I, I I ran into uh into Caroline, not that Caroline, the other Caroline, in the line for the Monoskin concert, and she was like, "I've been listening to the old them's the facts episodes over and over. It's one of two podcasts I listen to." What's the other podcast? I think it was like ask. Some nice like NPR podcast oh, okay. that we don't deserve to be mentioned in the same breath as. Yeah, <laughs> but I am very excited for it to come back, and uh, certain folks are excited to return. If you know what I mean. Oh, oh God, yeah. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to remember the details of that bit. It's never really much like the the trapped Christmas bit that you just did. That one was never really. It's kind of amorphous. I'm not sure what it is. He likes coffee and leftism. What you gonna I, do? <laughs> I didn't remember the leftism part. I remember the coffee. I, uh... 
Yeah. These guys do espresso machines. It's Twin Towers. Hey! Okay. Okay. That's that's enough of Victor Honey process. You can leave, Victor. Um, But we're excited to come back. Thank you for joining me on this descent into madness that was John Smith. Thank you to Brittany and Jessica for letting me take over your baby and just absolutely mess it up so bad and make buck wild movies like this like the formula one movie the uh, ultra violent Qu- quasimodo movie mr starship the night before christmas like this has been so much fun i am excited for y'all to get back and make real hallmark movies <laughs> that are better than the ones that we've made but um i'm definitely excited to keep participating and thank you to everybody who's listened to all of this. This was a great experience, a great way to dip back into podcasting for me. Because like I said, I'd taken a bit of a break, so it was really nice to just dive in. Thank you to all my co-hosts. You've all been amazing. Thank you to Chris and Gabe for jumping back in and finding... You know, I think we've recorded on Wednesdays a lot before, it's true. haven't we? Yep. It's just Wednesday, man. Wednesday's a good day for us. So thank you for giving your Wednesdays to me for the last few years, and thank you for bringing them back, too. So. No problem. That, my friends, was the seventh day of John Smith. Cult classics and them's effects are part of the Pocket Podcast Network. Uh, you, could, you, po- can, yeah. you can find yeah. cult classics on Twitter and Facebook at Colts Classic PPN. I want to thank uh, Michael Freitag for our extra special holiday intro and outro music. Um, unlike unlike I said in the bit, it's not completed yet at the time we're recording this episode, but I know what it's going to be, and it's going to be an absolute banger, and I hope y'all have enjoyed hearing it at the beginning and ending of all these episodes. Thank you, Mike. Thanks to everybody. And remember, for the last time, it's John. Quality programming right to your pocket.